Hans, um, when and how did you first start uh, to work with uh, Waldorf synthesizers? I think, I believe it was Wave in the early 90s. Um, well, actually, it, it, I, God, it, it, I, I, literally, I literally was on, on, my, on the phone with my techs in Los Angeles. I still have a PPG 300 modular synthesizer. So, I mean, very early days. And then my friend Mel Wesson and I, we couldn't actually afford a full wave 2.2. So we bought one together and, mm -hmm. you know, we were, you know, it's like, are you going to use it today or, you know, so we would share it, you know. Um, and I mean, you know, uh, Wolfgang Palm, genius designer, um, a genius intellect and genius conceptualist as well. And, you know, I, I, I was I was very good friends with Chris Franke from Tangerine Dream. So, you know, it's like um, that there was there was a whole way into it as well. And then sort of over the years, I've, I've, I've just, <laughs> you know, it's it's just, it's a very small group, if you think about it, of 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 people who design synthesizers or make synthesizers and even yes. who play synthesizers, mm -hmm. you know? Yes. Um, so Axel Hartmann, for instance, is an old friend of mine and, you know, Joachim, of course, is an old friend of mine and Wolfgang Düren and da da da, da. So, so... Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's, it's, you know, again, I mean, I'm sorry to say it, but you're working for crazies as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, Happy to. Right. So and Happy so to. and 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 so, it 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 was. It, it was the, co the 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 consistent sort of forwards thinking um, inventiveness, you know, of the mm -hmm. company. And, and I know the company took a lot of risks. The company went up and down, and you know, you've had yeah, you know, problems here or there, and. You know, and then and then things would be okay again, but but I think I think partly it was it was just simply because you took enormous chances, which is something that that I do as well. Mm. And then when you came out with the quantum, which I thought was the best synthesizer uh, I'd ever sort of come across, and I don't know if I mean. You, you know, my whole band. I mean, we're, we're, we're like quantum hoarders. I mean, hang on a second. Alejandro, how many quantums do we have? Five. Five. Four. Nice. Four. four. Sorry, four. We lied. Nice. You know, and then, and, and then you know, the, the, the iridium came out, and then, oh, that, we got four of those as well, you know. And so, so and I'm not saying, you know, it's just because, I, I I mean I'm I'm a I'm surrounded by people who understand technology and mm -hmm. and love technology and and um, understand the difference between a software plugin and something which is tactile and 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 totally inspirational and because of, because of the the basic the basic sonic quality is just really. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. and um, how do uh, Waldorf instruments um, inspire you in your creative process? I mean, really, honestly, I mean the, the way any any synthesizer, or any any tool, any good tool inspires. And uh, one of the things which I think is, is really important about where Waldorf has, have gotten to now is. Um, Designing instruments is actually quite tricky because uh, it, any technology is quite tricky because because it really what you want to do is you want to design something that works the way that your customer expects it to work. You know, mm -hmm. technology should always work the way you instinctively feel it should work. You know, and I find one of the things which is is, is great about the new instruments is that that they're very. Um, they're easy to understand you know and if the, if there's something easy to understand it invites you to get deep into mm -hmm. into the uh, in, in into the creative part of it um, and you're not going to be hindered by having to drag out the instruction manual or 
anything like this. You know, and, and the other thing is it's an inspiring sound. Mm -hmm. You know, okay, it's like <laughs> at the end of the day, you know, you, you, you know, it's, it's, I live and fall by, you know, am I able to make an inspiring sound on something? And I have this thing where I, n I, I never use presets. I mean, I'm, I'm a good enough synthesis, you know, because that's where I come from. Um, that I know that if I just go randomly through presets, I will forget the purpose of what I was trying to do. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's it's like it it, it it blunts the edge of the sound that I hear in my head. Mm -hmm. It's much better to just sit there and go and make make things up yourself. Yeah. And um, the, 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 the great thing about what you guys do is, is you still make things which inspire and, and, and sound new and mm -hmm. contemporary. Thank Not you. just yeah. contemporary, <laughs> but there's a, there's a timeless relevance to, mm -hmm. to what, what is going on with these instruments. Wow, okay. Um, Hans, um, how are your Waldorf synthesizer incorporated into your setup? Well, but, but, uh, right now, you know, you know, uh, uh, on the tour, it's like, I don't know, I, I know there are four, four or five, you know, there, there might be, an, I know there's an iridium floating around as well, but, but the, uh, you know, the, 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 uh, Uh, the quantums are def uh, you know, definitely s sitting there as 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 uh, in part of the tour of, mm -hmm. of just the sort of um, main the main keyboard really for 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 everybody who wants to make a noise you know yeah um, and then uh, so I, I haven't actually I ha did, did we use them for the Queen's Jubilee. Yes, we did. Oh yeah, oh yes. Well, just in case you don't know, um, we we played, you know, for the Queen and the Queen's Jubilee. Yes, and, of course I know. And, and it <laughs> yeah. became a, 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 a you know, it became a bit of a Waldorf fest. Yeah, you know? yeah, um, absolutely. <laughs> so 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 that was a good thing. Um, so 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 one of the great things is it's uh, and and you know the iridium polyphonic aftertouch thing is. It's far more important than people realize. It's it's it, it, it gives you all these other all these new possibilities. Um, I'm just just about. Uh, I haven't I haven't done any movies since we did the Jubilee, and I haven't. Done, I'm just about to start on the next part of Dune and a couple of other movies, mm -hmm. which okay. I, I can't mention. I can't mention their names um, because. Both you and I will be killed. Um, okay. I don't, <laughs> I don't want to do that. <laughs> But, the, you know, so so how does any of it um, fit into my work? And, I, and, and the way it'll fit into my work is that before I write a note, I love sitting there and just making sounds. Mm -hmm. You know, soundscapes and figuring out what's the color palette for this movie. Mm -hmm. So there'll be a lot of just tweaking and making sounds and making presets and experiments and finding finding things and 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 letting the machine inspire me mm -hmm. you know? wonderful hans um is there a waldorf sound or piece of audio um that you have created that will always stick with you that's <sighs> It's well, they're, they're old PPG 2.2 and 2.3 sounds, which are you know completely timeless, you know, old mm -hmm. wavetables, which you hear on your old 80s propaganda records or your Trevor Horn, you know, Frankie Goes to Hollywood stuff. Um, that's that, that that's always there, and then. What I try to do with, with new stuff is I try I try to do it and then and, and then as soon as the project is finished, never go back to that sound again. Mm -hmm. you know? oh, um, and yeah, and I think I think the sign of a great synthesizer is is that it 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 never bores you. It keeps giving you new possibilities, and you don't have to go to the old preset. You you can just go and mm -hmm. you know have something in your head and and and. 
it leads you there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you. Wow, um, Hans, is there anything else uh, you want to share with the uh, Waldorf community? Um, God, I don't know. I don't know what else to share. It's other than you know, it's it's a pro when the quantum came out, it's it really truly surprised me that, um, how. Look, I have a Waldorf, I have two Waldorf waves still, you know, mm -hmm. yeah. um, neither of which are working, which is which you don't really want to hear right now. But, no. you know, <laughs> it's, um, but, but, you know, it, it, it surprised you that you could surpass and it, because I thought that was one of the greatest instruments ever built. Mm -hmm. um, so. And, and I really do think you have you have pushed the art of synthesizers forward, you know. And and but the the problem is unless you sit there and play it, you know, unless you sit there and play around with it, you will not figure that out. You need you know you need to have access to to it. You know? Yeah, and, of course. And, yeah. You know, I hope people find a way of um, playing with these instruments. Mm -hmm. you well, know? yeah. Things have become, you know, especially during COVID, things have become so, we, we've all been locked into our little rooms and it's, you know, and, and the shops are disappearing and you can't just walk in somewhere and, mm -hmm. and, and fall in love with yeah. the instrument yeah. anymore as easily as that. Yeah. So I think that, that, that is a problem for you. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Hans, thank you so much for this interview. Um, You're very we welcome. Highly you highly appreciate I'm, this. I'm dead tired. I literally came from a how long was that Warner Brothers thing? Four hour Warner Brothers interview. So Well, and it's still <laughs> early in Los beaten. Angeles, right? Hmm? It's still early for you. So oh, it is still early for yeah. me, yes. <laughs> yeah, it's eight o'clock for you, it's seven o'clock for me. Yeah, so, so it's, it's mm. not a big thing. Okay. You know, three o'clock in the morning is when things really start happening. <laughs> well, okay, good. Um okay. yeah. Thank you very much. Thank and you. I hope we can do this again someday. <laughs> Yes, thank you. Okay, thank you. be well. Okay, you too. Take care. Bye. Bye.